Hello, Bennies and Johnnies. I hope you are doing well and are eager to return to campus in the fall. My name is Regan Dolezal. I am a junior political science major. I'm also serving as a senator for CSB Senate. And I would like to take this opportunity, along with some other students, to talk to you about the block plan and what our community will look like returning in the fall. Every decision that was made up to this point um, was prioritizing the safety of not only students, but faculty and staff and monasteries and every member that makes up our community. So to give you an explanation of the alternatives to the block plan, so options we could have gone with but opted out of, um, to begin, there was an alternative start date option, so it would have had classes starting early, ending early, or starting late and ending late. This option would have returned to what we consider to be normal day-to-day -day operations. However, it would not have ensured that we stayed the entire time, and it would have already adjusted the beginning and end of our semester. Another option would have been the online option for the full semester. It was very clear by the end of spring that this is not a favorable option, both for returning students, um, for faculty, for staff, and for incoming first years. Finally, another option would have been a first year intensive model. This model would have included only first years returning to campus, meaning sophomores, juniors, and seniors would be online for the entirety of the semester. Um, again, hindering our social and our community experience. Hello, Bennies and Donnies. My name is Chris Don Clark, and I am a senior biology major from the Bahamas. I am also a St. John's senator. While this notion of the block plan is clearly not a new concept in higher education, as Colorado College and many others have successfully opted to be on this block plan for some 50 years now, and have seen massively successful results in retention and academic achievement. This is a completely new concept to students, faculty, and staff here at CSBSJU. However, I want to reassure you that our faculty has put forth an additional effort to work directly with Colorado College to ensure that we are prepared to translate semester-long syllabi into mod-based instruction. Also, both Senates have no doubt that with an open mind on the unmatched work ethic that we all possess, we will also see those massively successful results. Hello, Johnnies and Bennies. I am Simeon Farquharson, a senior finance major and a student senator. It is our job to extend grace and appreciation to the work of faculty and staff. They have gone well above and beyond their typical obligation to work for us, the students, to create the best academic environment possible in these unusual circumstances. Students, please extend grace and gratitude to the individuals who have worked and continue to work to make our experience as fulfilling as possible. It is our job to take care of our faculty and staff. They have made every effort to give us the safest and most ideal community to return to possible. As students and members of the community, it is our obligation to return the favor and comply with social distancing and face mask wearing procedures to protect faculty and staff that may be more compromised to COVID than we are as a young population. The change really does start with us. Hi, my name is Shade Larson. I am a senior psychology major and I'm currently serving as the president of the CSB Student Senate. I will be talking to you about our life back on campus. While faculty and staff can try to mimic life pre-COVID, if cases do spike, we can lose our privilege on campus. It is going to be a conscious decision and responsibility of the Bennies and Johnnies to return and to stay on campus. A special thank you to faculty and staff for working countless hours to ensure that we can return to campus. Now we have been given the opportunity to give back to the community that has given so much to us. Thank you.